guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 1 and 2 of Yes, Pretty Care 5. So I bet you, really, this is for everybody else, because you know Patreons probably. Well, no, this is really for everybody now, regular people and Patreons, um, who know me for Pretty Care. You're probably all wondering why I am re-watching this show, because as I've stated in almost every Pretty Care video that I've done from... Kitty Kitty Pretty Care All Mode, all the way up to Tropical Rouge. I have seen every series at least once, maybe twice. Um, it has been a very long time since I have seen Yes, Pretty Care 5. I was just a, still a kid when I watched this show. So I don't really remember everything. And so the person who um, requested this show, one of my Patreons, she wants me to appreciate... Um, the girls in this series because before we got the goaded cast of Tropical Rouge Pretty Care, there was one other goaded cast where you mainly kind of knew who everybody was and what role um, their seiyus are currently either known for at the time of this show or so many umpteen years later. And she wants me to appreciate that before I watch um, the Healing Good Pretty Care movie because I don't know when the heck that's coming out either. And I, I think it's probably later on in this year. I'm not 100% sure, but all I know is that from this goaded cast is two people. That is, of course, Naruto herself and eventually her son, Baruto. <laughs> Those are the only two I know from this cast. I can't really remember the other ones, so yeah, I will be watching both this and Gogo -Go once we finish Yes first. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 1 and 3, 2, 1... Go. I really should have got tissue for my nose. <laughs> like, I don't even remember all this. Hell, I don't even remember when this series came out. Oh. Mm hmm. Cute boy one. Right. <laughs> of course! <laughs> ah. I can't. And of course, the butterfly will touch you! Hmm? His VA seems familiar to me too. This might be a whole goatee cast with the females and the males. And I'm like, oh my god, once I find out who they all are. <laughs> See, something's going to tell me that probably when this comes out the following Monday, everybody is, number one, probably going to be freaking out, blah, blah, freaking out about this. And then eventually, someone else is probably going to be like, oh my god, Deja, when you finish this series, can you watch the next one after? <laughs> and then I'm probably going to be like, the only way that you can is if you become a Patreon for $1 a month or $5 a month or even ever got my last year. Um... I think it's $20, so no matter what, you can still request anything, because I know probably somebody is going to be running to the Patreon <laughs> website just to rewatch this, because of course, with the Patreon, you're getting it 
upteenth days before everybody else gets it. So it's really nice to have it. I mean, yeah, it's just a dollar a month if you really would like it. It's up to you. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> It just feels so weird to rewatch this because, like, oh, oh, hmm. <laughs> I remember how she gave me so much, like, lettuce vibes. Oh my god. See, this is just also making me excited for Tokyo Mew Mew, damn it. But seriously, can you imagine someone else? Yeah, DJ, I want you to rewatch this pretty care series. But like, oh my god. Can you imagine if someone asked me to rewatch Go Princess Pretty Care? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even remember who my best girl for this series was. So you know what? We about to have a new new best girl. Okay, so Rin, Karin, Nozomi, and Komochi. I don't remember Cure and Lemonade. I will kind of tell you, Rin also gives me, like, Yotsuba vibes from the quintessential quintuplets because Yotsuba always can't say no. She always has to help someone, and that's a, one of the many things why I love her so much. She's not my best girl, but, you know. Well, I mean, damn, Oda. I mean, you were kind of giving me, like, Kirarin vibes. <laughs> you know, Kirarin was like, yes, I am a model, but I, at the end of this damn series, I'm going to be the greatest. <laughs> Like a damn rich girl school. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can't. Mm.
knows me. But don't worry, you'll find it. It's just, when it's time, it'll just come to you. Like me, your girl's gonna be a Japanese translator. So officially starting tomorrow, or by the time this video comes out, I'll starting I'll be able to learn Japanese. Mm-hmm. The hell? Oh. Now I remember him, the other dude, and then Milky Rose. They're the only three that are able and then leading up to everyone else who also can do it as well turn have be a fairy but then also turn into a human and ish but they had to be like the first three right i mean they paved the way for like cl and uh Mofarun. Well, in a way, it's kind of Karen's job. She needs to just know everyone's name. Mm-hmm. When you're that someone high up, you have to. Yeah, literally hearing, like, Connie and the rest of the other girls' voices besides, um, no. Nozamine has to be Naruto. But then who's Boruto? We'll look after we're done watching this episode. behind you. Hmm? Ah, yes. Touch this special book. It's your destiny. The Book of Butterflies. Oh, okay. <laughs> No, he wants the bug. <laughs> you know who he kind of sounds like? He sounds like freaking Mamoru. If this is Mamoru, oh my god. Mm -hmm. We just found the best boy. <laughs> It sounds a little like him, but not really. Oh. <laughs> no, me, just give him the book! <laughs> no, me, just give it to him! No.
they probably don't even have merch of this series anymore, but I would love to have one of them. <laughs> oh. Just Coco. So then what is Milne, uh, when he's a human, his name is also Coco? Is the other one named Vanilla? I don't remember. <laughs> you know, I could ask my Alexa after this, you yeah. uh. So cute. <laughs> well, he looks like a really weird manatee. nothing. Don't worry about it. It's not your time yet. Nice job, Nazarene. Oh, but it does. You just don't know yet. I bet you every little girl when the series came out like, Mommy, a toso casa. I want that. Oh, I haven't even heard that saying in a long time. Freaking, oh my god. <laughs> See, that's what I used to like about the older series. 
the the transformations are hella simple and clean. As much as I love all the brand new sparkly up in your face transformations, sometimes it's just better to be just simple and pure. And oh god. You're gonna give the painting a mask and the painting's gonna come out? Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, you got this. Hmm. It'll be okay. Well, that was easy. I mean, yeah, that's good, but that still ain't really a career choice. But you know, it's all right. It knows me. You got this, babe. Yeah, you got four other girls to get to. No, because honestly, that wouldn't really be fair. I, you know, it would be really interesting if they actually did a season where we started just out with one. I don't think that would possibly happen. But I, I think it would be really interesting just to see. And the next thing you know, by like episode 25, everybody else pops in. <laughs> but of course, I don't think they would want to do that. It's just really up to them. Honestly, I also love the fact that we, with this series, and I think it's this and then a couple others from the past, because I don't specifically remember when they did the 3D um CGI dances and stuff because that had to be like later on but having an opening like this like oh, once again simple like the watches kind of give me like digivices tamagotchi feels and such so I'm guessing around the time when this was out still um tamagotchi and digimon was still like at the height that it was 
and such. I mean, because like I said, once I finish this first part before I go to the episode two, I'm going to see what year this came out. But yeah, Nazamine is adorable. Rewatching this, honestly, just <laughs> when you a different like age and such it's really good to rewatch it and so I'm honestly really glad to see how this all goes for her and the rest of the girls still don't know who really my best girl is yet for this show I bet you you know whatever age Deja was when she watched this show she probably already had her best girl who knows I gotta say with the, uh, the uh, I can't speak. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Yes, DJ. Yes. The way. <laughs> Come here, Cody. The way, like, Nozamine is <laughs> like, oh my god. Like, Rin, you should be a pretty here. It's very similar to what Manatsu did for literally every single girl. Like, <laughs> for Asuka, for Stango, for Mirari. And she was like, yeah, like, these girls are. Well, you know, with Laura, Laura did it a lot more with Asuka because Asuka, you know, a best girl. And she <laughs> and she's like, oh my god, you're so pretty. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. this right here, guys, this is a pretty cute. <laughs> Even though Asuka was looking like, I, mm, no, like, I'm good, thank you. But now, look at her. But I think, like, Rin, from what I've seen going into this episode, also going into episode two when we get there, um, Rin, Rin is the Yotsuba best friend type to Nozomi. Nozomi is more, she doesn't seem quiet. It's the, the chick with the green hair, which I don't, like, really remember who her cure name was. Um, she seems like she's going to be the quiet out of it. Karin feels like she's going to be the most strong um leader type of it even though Nozamine is essentially the leader of this series because she is the one who we first meet the first episode <clears throat> is a pov of her um of her no matter what so it seems like once we get into cotton because i'm guessing cotton is either the third or fourth girl while um Urara, aka cure lemonade i think she's gonna be the last girl who's going to be a cure i don't remember so yeah but yeah, go ahead and pause the video, and I see you in one second for episode two. Okay, before we get started with episode two, let's go ahead and talk about this cast. Alright, let's start with the boys first. Nuts. Freaking nuts! Oh my god. Oh my god. I w okay, so I also found, I remember, this came out in 2007, so I was in seventh grade at the time. Um... So I was like preteen, like mm, yeah, I'm a teen teenager, DJ. <laughs> but oh my god, my son, my son, freaking Sora from Kingdom Hearts was a like, cute, adorable fairy. Oh my god, stop it! I'm gonna die. Okay, so going from nuts to Coco. Coco is not played by Mamoru. Coco's VA or Seiyu was known for two shows that I have seen. Um, Mao and Kogias and my husband no trunks from Dragon Ball Z. Like, how? <laughs> how is this possible? What the fuck? You <laughs> So, you know I'm already in love with Coco, right? So, mm. Y'all yeah, be in love with Coco and Nuts, but like, oh, Coco. Coco! Coco! <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Starting from uh, Kanan, aka Kira Aqua, she played, she currently, as of right now, like, and I still can't believe this because. Re I haven't rewatched this show and I haven't seen the new movie yet and because I'm currently waiting for it to come to America and such because I do want to see it in Japanese. She plays Sailor Pluto in Sailor Moon Crystal. So I'm like, oh, like, not not my best girl because my two best girls from Sailor Moon are her, um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I can't speak. 
Minato Aino, aka Sailor Venus, and Hotaru, aka Sailor Saturn. So, oof, if, you know, mm, God, whoever plays her. Uh, Jesus. Okay, so going from Kadin to Kiermit or Koma Komachi, um, she was only in something that I can literally say. She was in Ojo Magical Dory Me as uh, Rika, and I don't remember that character, so yes. Um, Ureta, aka Ker, Ker Lemonade, was. Um, Mirai and Kakegeri, um, Rei and Made in Abyss, uh, Yurika or Bonnie and um, Pokemon XY, and then Levy and Fairy Tale. And I think she was in one other thing that I watched. The Promised Neverland is Rei. Ma'am, ma'am, you worked with, <laughs> you worked with, like, oh my god, you, ma'am, <laughs> you worked with my child from my Kutsu. My Ichigo. Like, oh my god, I can't. Dude, I... I <laughs> what the heck? Okay, um... Rin, Junko. <sighs> Naruto! <laughs> I saw someone who used to be a fan of Naruto, but never watched, like... Uh, well, I got spoiled on Shibuden, so, like, yeah. But, yeah, Naruto! Naruto and Boruto! <laughs> because, you know, you got Rin... Naruto, you got news of me. Naruto, son, what the hell is this show? Like, I am sorry. Like, oh my god. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, yeah, you want to talk about goaded gas. Like, this is a goaded gas. Like, oh my effing god. I'm sitting here thinking, like, with some of them, I was like, man, that's something. <laughs> Nuts, you were Kingdom Hearts. Like, oh my god, you played Good Boy and Bad Boy at the same freaking time. You played Vanitas, oh my god. Oh my god, like seriously. See, now if Mamaru was in this series, aka Riku from Kingdom Hearts, I could be like, yeah, go, go. <laughs> I can't, oh my god, this is only episode two, and I, I just, I can't. We haven't even watched the damn episode yet. But, oh my god, like. Because it's so weird because I never would have thought after, like, s officially starting, like, Tropical Rouge and now looking at this, that we would never possibly have, like, a Cure season where I knew everybody was freaking voiced. Normally, going back to freaking Tropical Rouge or any season beforehand, there is usually one chick. One, maybe two. Sometimes three. That's usually it. One to three. That, like, I know who the freak all, like, all three seiyus are. 50 out of 50, I only know who the cures are. And I will never know who the freaking, um, mascots are. What is this show? Like, y'all really did this. Total animation. Are you serious? Like, dang. I can't even imagine who the heck they're gonna have for this next freaking Pretty Cure series after... Tropical Rouge, and I hate the fact that I'm currently thinking about that right now. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode two and three. Three, two, one, go. Sir, how do you go from trunks? Trunks in Dragon Ball Z, my one of my like top husbandos, to a cute plush fairy, like, uh. I was supposed to go get tissue to blow my nose. I don't think I can go do that now. The fact that these two, Nozomine and Rain, are still working together in the Baruto series. Like, what the hell? Baruto like that. I'm not even a fan. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Don't worry, Ren. By the end of this episode, you'll enjoy it. Can we just say that uh, Cotton and uh, Umachi, they were the original mom and dad? <laughs> Way before Yukari and Akira. <laughs> they were the original mom and dad of this series. talk like this ain't gonna be Sora this is gonna be pure Vanitas for a whole year oh my god th thank you like your girl <laughs> your girl is out <sighs> freaking chunks of Vanitas like ugh Mm -hmm. Yeah, this whole entire episode is just going to be Baruto talking to his dad, Naruto, be like, yes, dad, come on. <laughs> no. Take it for say. And he is right, you are replaceable, so. Better think of something quick. Oh, 
Brynn, it's going to be fine. Uh-huh. <laughs> Rin? Of course! Yeah, um, Yeah, but now you just showed Rin that Coco turns into a fairy. Yes, yeah, so he knows. I mean, you give me major Ichiko vibes, you know, and that's okay. Hey, guys. Guys. No, it is your destiny. You need to follow your son slash daughter to the ends of the earth. That's your child. And then you went back and everything was all cleaned up. Oh. Yeah, but you always been for been there for like a parent. You just follow her. See, this is why you don't talk to strangers aloud. Well, damn, are we doing, like, dark pretty here already? I mean, you know, smile don't do that until umpteen years in 2012 when I graduated. But, um, yeah.
Gonna have a baby, just give it time. Yeah, because it's been like, yeah, it's been like 10 years since the show has aired. So, yeah, of course, I ain't gonna remember ish. Hmm? That blue thing, yeah. Oh, it's cute. Because of its pink stomach. <laughs> Not in the way you think. Rain. Like it's nobody's business. Rin, she's gonna be okay. This makes me also wish that with total animation, especially with the particular all-star films, that they kept everyone in. I know it's a whole bunch of seiyus, and you gotta give them seiyus a lot of money just for making one little voice appearance for some reason, but, like, y'all still coulda did it. Like, dang, you know, I mean, all that merch sales and everything, like, I woulda gave you money. Ugly manatee looking ass. <laughs> manatee. Mantis.
Uh-uh. See, you're always there for each other. You need the butterfly. She looks so good. Of course, I mean, seriously, you have no friends, you just probably have co-workers. See, I bet you around this time when this aired, between this, because I know Naruto wasn't done, but she was probably getting paid a lot per episode for this series and Naruto itself. That's cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Every little girl wanted this. <laughs> Every little girl wanted this in 2007. <laughs> Merchandise. Honestly, like Rin. Rin and Ozumi. Adorable, adorable. That's all. We don't need to say anything about this. Honestly, this fight and the way that the nightmares are going to be established for this of the week for me 
for for this show up in its entirety because there's going to be about like probably what 20 something videos for this series and then adding it twice so we'll probably have like 40 umpteen videos for this whole entire series <laughs> this is going to be hilarious to watch every single week with the villains of the week because i love the fact that like he just throws a mask and instantly it's just turned into like something scary <laughs> Because whether I watch Kid a Kid a Pretty Cure Hollow Mode, Hug a Toe Pretty Cure, <laughs> Start Swinkle, Healy Good, or even Tropical Rouge, any time when like any of the other main villains like use something to change some random item of the day into a bad. <laughs> A bad evil villain of the week. It's very funny because just like, oh, okay, that's what they look like. Because some of them look really, really cool. And then some of them just look ridiculous. For these first two episodes, both villains or monsters of the week look really funny. She honestly gives me vibes to, um, oh, what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What? We're going to look. Mm-hmm. We're going to look. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, we're going to go to Smile Pretty Cure, because she, in this series, she is my best girl. And it was always nice to play, you know, a certain game with her every single week and such. Best thing. And, you know, by the time I fin we finished the show, I cried. Because I'm like, no, we're never going to play <laughs> rock, paper, scissors again. Um, happy. Uh, no, not happy. Sunny. Was it sunny? Yellow? No, 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 no. Peace? Yeah, peace. My child. Yep. Peace. Mm hmm Lightning bolt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. John Gambo. Right pad for scissors. There we go. But yes, because <laughs> Peace was my child every single week. Because I think from, like, Smile, I think the biggest VA from this... Ooh. I don't really remember. We're going to look at... We're going to look at that after when I edit this video. But yeah, I mean, the... the <laughs> The relationship of both Rin and Nozmeen, it, it's adorable. They have always been with each other ever since day one, and I honestly really like that. And so it's good to establish, like, to know that out of the five girls, two, yeah, four girls have an established relationship with the other with the other two. Um, and it's nice because it's like, oh, hey, I, I feel like there's probably when this show aired because, like, did I have Tumblr at the time of this? I don't think I did have Tumblr at the time of this show. I still probably had... I, I know I still had MySpace. And I know on my MySpace I didn't show anything anime in -ish. Um, I probably did. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> uh... <laughs> People probably, when this show came out, possibly did ship Nozemean and Rin together and then Cutting and um, Cutting's friend together as well because they just look so good together and they complete each other for that group and such. And so, of course, you have Urara all by herself. So I'm guessing, hopefully, when we get all five girls together as a group, essentially that we do get episodes of each girl getting a focus and such or um getting a focus with someone else because it's nice when you have an established relationship with two characters but then you know getting relationships with everyone else and their connections and it's like that because it's just nice and i like the way how you know Toe animation has done pretty here in the future and in the past so you know hey who knows what the heck is gonna happen next but other than that guys that is my reaction to you towards episodes one and two of yes pretty cure five if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next friday for patreons and next monday for everybody else for episodes three and four
Bye, guys.